The Executive Secretary of the National Board for Technical Education in Nigeria, Professor Idris Bugaji, has condemned the craze of converting polytechnics to universities, saying such a step is usually taken in ignorance of what the real trend in technical and vocational education is. The Executive Secretary of the National Board for Technical Education, NBTE, Prof. Idris Bugaji, has condemned the craze for converting polytechnics to universities, saying such a step is usually taken in ignorance of what the real trend in technical and vocational education is. He therefore likens such an action as taking a step forward and taking many steps backward. He stated this during a workshop titled Improving Skills Development in Nigerian Polytechnics for Economic Growth, Entrepreneurship and Social Inclusion, organized by the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TET Fund, in Lagos. Whilst countries like China and Germany are given priority to technical and vocational education, and with China even converting universities to polytechnics because they know what the future holds, we are in the craze for turning our polytechnics to universities here. We are having a death of technicians whilst we are heading for a gulf of university graduate. There should be a paradigm shift. What we need to be able to complete well at the global level is to produce manpower that is skilled. We may not need a situation where you will be asking for five credits at general certificates in education level or somebody who scores 300 in the unified tertiary matriculation examination. From 2023, the National Board for Technical Education will not accredit any course in any polytechnic if there is no skill training program on ground. Skills are now the currency of labor globally. If you are training somebody on building technology, take him to a live construction site to see what is happening, he added. Bugatti also said that the NBTE would soon come out with its ranking of polytechnics in the country and charge participants to think outside the box and make great impact on their lives of their students and the nation as a whole. Well, there we have it in Nigeria. And I must say that the move to convert polytechnics to universities was first initiated by South Africa in 2000 and for where it decided to convert all of its technicons to universities of technologies. Now, other African countries did follow suit. In tw uh, 2007, Ghana, for instance, proposed a law to convert all of its 10 uh, polytechnics to universities. Kenya decided to also join the same, the same trend by converting its polytechnics to universities. So basically, Nigeria isn't the only country that is trying to do this. Now, what I want to find out is some possible reasons that is influencing the need for polytechnics to be converted to universities in Africa. Okay, so I'll take it from where you were talking about um, Ghana trying to change their technical universities mm -hmm. to, um, sorry, polytechnics to universities. As of, um, as at um, August 2016, eight out of 10 polytechnics in Ghana were upgraded to the status of status of technical universities for varied reasons mm -hmm. and in that matter um, in that state I'm going to talk about two reasons one I'll talk about the negative perception about polytechnics you know in the minds of many people view polytechnics as inferior as compared to universities for instance according to some stories that I've heard students who graduate from our traditional universities are considered better equipped with their degrees mm -hmm. and are you know are given jobs and and a lot of money than those in our polytechnics mm -hmm. so second of all i'll talk about the issue of credit transfer you know some public universities refuse to let polytechnic graduates transfer credits from their hnd programs to bachelor's degree programs mm -hmm. for instance if an hnd holder um, wants to continue or acquire a bachelor's degree in a public university that hnd holder would have to start from level 100 which i think is also one of the reasons why there is a shift Okay, Ajman. Well, I, I would say uh, every institution has its own purpose, has its mm -hmm. own foundation. Uh, changing uh, polytechnics to universities, quite maybe on some grounds, I bet you differ from what Jimana said. Um, technical universities becomes the, the final name for polytechnic to technical mm -hmm. university, just to give it that status of a university, mm -hmm. but still give you that hands-on 
operational skills. I don't mm -hmm. think it's really of an issue to deal with compared to what we have in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But if we really want to understand the reason, it's just to abridge the standard so you don't feel less uh, significant to a university degree. Mm -hmm. So university degree is worth much more than a polytechnic. That's sig that, that, that stigma is what they want to, or what they, that these um, education councils want to do by eradicating that uh, perception or that stigma by creating a leverage for uh, polytechnics to also rise to become technical universities mm -hmm. and rub some shoulders with universities mm -hmm. in terms of qualification. But uh, you, you bear with me that there's something that differs in terms of um, rationale, in mm -hmm. terms of operationalization, in terms of um, focus. Mm -hmm. It's a difference. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my focus was on Africa because when you check reports, uh, in uh, June 12, 2014, an article was published on the University World News' uh, website that says major reforms at 600 universities become polytechnics. And this was an article that was based on China and a few other countries. My concern is why is African, wh wh why are polytechnics in Africa feeling the pressure or the need to convert their polytechnics to universities anyways let's throw some light on why the executive secretary of the national board for technical education in nigeria is opposing this initiative oh, okay i'll take it so i believe um prof bugaji is trying to put across something very important which is that the world is advancing and we need more technical expertise to meet the growing demand you know when you compare um, our polytechnics and university you could see that the universities tend to be um, the um, theoretically inclined whilst our polytechnics based on the skills that they have so in the um, and by so doing he believes that the main focus should rest on acquiring skills to solve problems in our society okay. and not the degrees that we have on our papers okay thank you ajaman you know i think his main focus was about the priority here what was the point um trying to transform um a system to a different system whilst the main focus of the system has not been changed so a polytechnic should be given um the attention in terms of um a, teachers or let's say lecturers who have the hands-on skill. Mm -hmm. The point is give people the skill to do something hands-on, mm -hmm. make tables, fix things, engineers, mm -hmm. uh, build bridges, construction and all that. If government doesn't prioritize in, in, in enhancing uh, the infrastructure capacity, uh, let's say human resource capacity in these institutions, and then you want to just elevate the name Polytechnic, Telecom University, whilst the foundation of these universities, or let's say the real engine that drives the point, is still the same what it is, then there's no point. So mm -hmm. he believes that we should prioritize in getting the things right. He, he said that, uh, for example, government will invite people from India, China, to come and construct bridges and then do mega projects in, in the country, whilst these students who are the prototypes are, are there. Mm -hmm. Because government believes that they don't have what it takes, yeah. the right skill, the right hands-on skill to do it. Mm -hmm. So why then do you invest in elevation? It's just like branding yeah. outwardly yeah. And, and you ignoring yeah. how to enhance yeah. the inward. It makes no point. Yeah, I, I, think, I think I agree with you. Now, in Nigeria's bid to... Um, you know, come uh, in Nigeria's bid to change polytechnics to universities. I just hope, or I just hope they they weigh the pros and cons in this situation and they make yeah. the best decision out of it. Now